I'm Jason Kendall, I'm an emergency physician at North Bristol NHS Trust um, and I've talked today about uh, challenges in stroke thrombolysis. Uh, not so much whether to give it or not to give it, but in particular difficult situations and I chose to talk on basilar artery occlusion and stroke with uh, fluctuating and improving symptoms and signs. The key messages from basilar artery occlusion is that it is a difficult condition to diagnose um, the combination of altered le levels of consciousness with bulbar and motor deficits with or without ocular motor signs are the key to making the diagnosis. The key investigation finding on the simple plain CT scan is the hyperdense basilar artery sign and in the right clinical context that is enough to move on with or without confirmatory CT angiography to attempt reperfusion. Recanalisation of the basilar artery uh, through reperfusion therapy um, is important because without recanalisation uh, the prognosis for patients is pretty dismal in this condition. With recanalisation there is a reasonable chance of improving mortality and getting a good outcome. In terms of choices for recanalisation uh, there's no good evidence that intraarterial local therapy or neurointerventional thrombectomy is any better than intravenous thrombolysis which is uh, available as an intervention to most of us in emergency medicine. The other challenging issue I addressed was uh, related to patients with improving symptoms and signs and whether or not they should be thrombolised. Um, there's some limited data that would suggest uh, patients who do have improving symptoms and signs do benefit from thrombolysis uh, and we now are using their uh, functional deficit as a key score rather than their absolute NIHS score as a determinant as to whether we thrombolise patients or not. So a patient may have a low NIHS score of two or three, but if it's in a single domain, so for example they have an expressive dysphasia or a hemianopia, then irrespective of um, their absolute NIHS score, we would go ahead and consider thrombolysis for them.